everyone, it is me, Anthony Jones, and today I'm going to be doing a review video on the latest game to come out this week and the one that I've been most anxious for, and that is Sonic Mania. There is no doubt that I was going to get this game. I mean, I've been a Sonic fan for I don't know how long now. Me and my mom and dad, when I was little, we used to always go to Toys R Us and buy the Sonic figurines and also the um, Sonic comic book series. I mean, you just go into my room and you'll find a whole pile of just those Sonic comics. And I also have a shelf just filled with all the Sonic figurines. I mean, I was hooked. I had Sonic 1, Sonic 2, Sonic Knuckles, I, Sonic 3. I've had almost all of them, and not only the old ones, but I also played Sonic Generations, Sonic Colors, I loved those games. And to see them make Sonic Mania, a Sonic game that is just a whole entire new story, but also a whole entire story off of Sonic 1, 2, CD, and 3. That to me is just amazing. Now when I saw that the game was going to come out for a Nintendo Switch, I knew I had to get it for that console. Because not only will I have the game, but I also have it portable. And that to me was just the most mind-blowing thought ever. Of course, it's going to be my second title to own on the Nintendo Switch. First being Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now you're probably thinking, Anthony, why haven't you gotten any other Switch games? There's awesome ones out there like Splatoon 2 or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. And I have to say, those didn't really pique my interest. Splatoon 2 did, but it's 60 bucks and realistically my budget right now is only 20. And Sonic Mania comes out and it's 20 bucks. And I thought, I just knew I had to get it. The only sad thing about it is it is a digital download only and there is no actual physical copy like Legend of Zelda here, only digital download which I think really stinks. But I do get why Sega had to go with that, I mean they're coming out with another game, Sonic Forces. Digital copy I think is perfectly fine, but yeah, so I think we need to get into the eShop right now and download that sucker. So we're almost done here with the download. It did take a pretty long time, but that's truly only because I basically have two bars of Wi-Fi connection where I am. But that's fine. So with the power of editing, it is now done. So the download of Sonic Mania is now complete. I have it on my Switch console. And I say, let's get into the game. This is gonna be awesome. Sega. Good work on that. Alrighty, this is just amazing. This is just great. Okay, this game uses an auto-save feature, so do not quit or turn off the power when this icon is displayed. Alright. So right now we got Mania Mode um, in the main menu screen. It's just very... the menu screen already, it, it's just... I don't know why, it's got that like... Um, it's not even like a 90s feeling, it, it, it's, it's got that the colorway, it's kind of like a 90s-ish, um, 80s-ish. But realistically, it's just like its own crazy little thing, which this is just amazing already on the title screen. We got your options, extras, and we got two mysteries. Um, I'm guessing that's going to be like the two-player dual, mo um, dual modes. But right now, let's just get into it. Oh, uh, this is awesome. Okay, so already we are we have like lots of save selects, and also we've got them, and they all look like. Reminiscent to Sonic 3 or Sonic and Knuckles, which Thumbs up two thumbs ups to that because good job on that Okay, so we could play Sonic Sonic Tails Knuckles or just Tails. I think for this one. I'm just gonna do Sonic. Oh My gosh, this is Alrighty, this is Sonic 3 
That's awesome. Okay. I think this is... Oh. Wait, what? Oh. You can't see my face, but my face is just like, what? What? What's going on? <laughs> this is great. Guys, I don't even know what's going on here. It looks like we went like back in time all of a sudden. Okay, I know how to play Sonic 1. Okay, so for the most part right now, it's pretty self-explanatory, um, which a Sonic game should be. Um, if you played Sonic 1, of course, you're going to know where most of this stuff is, and it's going to be, well, I was hoping it's going to be um, pretty easy to play the game and get into it, and I was hoping they would do something like this to kind of, like, throw it off, but they also made it in, almost in the storyline as well, which I really think is crazy on their part, and now I want to, ooh, shoot, now I want to see, like, what's going on in this whole game. I want to know what the story is going on. But yeah, this is for the most part, right now, it seems just like normal Sonic. Okay, we got, ooh, okay, so, interesting. So this is Sonic 3, and Knuckle, or Sonic and Knuckles, which is very interesting, because that was not in the first game, and this is like the first level. I used to always be terrible at this, though. That was the one thing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Alright. Okay, let's go back into this. So far, this is awesome. I haven't even tried to see if there's, like, a spin dash mode or anything. Okay, so there is. Which, of course, was not in the first game. I was in the second and the third. Though, this looks different now. And also there's like big rings, which I'm guessing are more, um, <laughs> this is great. So this was not in, okay, so now they're kind of like remixing it with some like Sonic 2 stuff, which is awesome, and some just levels in general from Sonic 1, plus some new add-ons. This is, a, this is just amazing, guys. Okay, here, wait, there we go. Okay. The graphics are just crazy, like, how they reminisced it with just the original Sonic, and then gave it also just a new touch, and give it... Everything just reminds me of, like, all, every game in general. Okay, so now we're on the blue... Okay, so they switched it. On Sonic 2, the poles were for the, um... Oh, what stage was it? The... It was the, like, the half-pipe stage or something like that. I think it was the half-pipe stage. So, it's interesting they changed it. I remember I did see in, like, the... The E3 um, videos, they were show... That they were showing... That... There is a big ring, and I was expecting, actually, these stages to be in the big rings. So, this is quite an interesting change, but I can see why they would do something like that to make it so it's different as well. But I'm wondering if there's like, in the storyline, there's just like, the whole time continuum is just like corrupt right now or something. So this actually, this is making the game much longer as well, which I noticed. Oh shoot, is this the boss stage? Okay. So now we're on the boss stage, which I remember seeing from the E3 gameplay. I was seeing how people were kind of playing it. Oh shoot. Grab my rings. Okay, I killed that one. Oh shoot, oh shoot. Oh no. Okay, I killed that one. Okay. Always gotta do this because Sonic 3, you know. Oh, 
okay. Now I'm wondering if there's any uh, little things, any extras. Well guys, this is gonna be the end of the review, and I gotta say, Sonic Mania, you gotta pick this game up. I haven't even gotten into the full storyline yet, and it's just, it's amazing. It's great, it's got its own little twist to everything, and it just, it makes sure that it captures everything, I think, of all the games, and makes sure that all the games are captured and that you can reminisce on any Sonic game. And not only one, not only two, but you got like Sonic CD, Sonic 3 references. You got everything. And I think that's just amazing. Um, I'm definitely gonna start um, playing this, like playing this game almost anywhere. And I think actually like it being on the Switch, I think this is gonna be the first game I actually take places. Um, Cause I just, I feel like that's the type of game it is. It's a game that you can take anywhere and play anywhere. And it's just fun, relaxing, you just sit down and play. Um, that's what I think I love about it. Um, and also, just everything about it. It's amazing. Well, the little trailer here is also going on. <laughs> so anyways guys, totally pick this up. Especially if you're a Sonic fan, especially if you like love playing Sonic games, you gotta pick this up. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment below um, what you think about Sonic Mania and what do you like about Sonic Mania. Please also like and um, subscribe, and we'll be seeing you for more videos. Thanks, guys.